Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel again. In this video, I want to talk about the image colorization. Uh, this is still an ongoing challenge uh, for computer vision. And in this work, uh, I have come up with my own method, sort of, especially for making the learning samples. And uh, I would like to share it with you guys, and hopefully you guys are going to learn something. And let's get started. So as I said in this video, I want to talk about image colorization using a simple deep CNN. Image colorization is a process uh, which estimates the RGB colors of a grayscale image typically captured before color cameras were widely used and also technological advancements were very limited. Therefore, this process is more a form of image enhancement than image restoration. Another use for image colorization is to restore color images after they have been converted into a grayscale or Y channel of YUV color space, for example, to save storage space or communication bandwidth. This is one example, as you can see, and this is an old image that has been converted into a colored image. The colorization of the images is still a challenging problem owing to the varying conditions of imaging. The problem is severely ill-posed as uh, two out of three image dimensions are missing. Although the scene, although the scene's semantics may be helpful in many cases, for example, uh, grass is usually green, clouds are usually white, and sky is blue, uh, sometimes uh, it doesn't help that much. However, such semantic priors are highly uncommon for many man-made and natural objects like shirts, cars, flowers, and etc. There are other issues that exacerbate the issue of uh, image colorization, such as changes in illumination and also variations in viewpoints and occlusions, to just name a few. So, in this work, uh, I want to sh show you guys a simple tutorial of image colorization problem using a deep convolution neural network. To do that, a few stages should be taken. First, I want I I would find the colorful images of people and natural scenes online, and then I would turn them into uh, into uh, black and white images using a simple built-in function in MATLAB, which is called RGB to gray. And then in the third stage. I would write a simple code of deep CNN in Anaconda Spider, and I'm gonna show you guys that as well. And in the fourth stage, uh, I would like to train the system using the images, uh, so that uh, the, hopefully the system would learn to go from the. Uh, I mean, the system would learn to go from black and white images into colorful images. And in the fifth stage, I would like to test the images on the real black and white and also the one that are artificially made by MATLAB. And uh, hopefully the system is going to learn and work well at the, first, at the fifth stage. The, the data set that I found consists of 582 images of uh, people in urban and rural areas. Here is a snapshot of the, of the data set, as you can see. And uh, I had to write a code in MATLAB to read them all and automatically turn them into black and white images and save them in the same folder. Uh, this is the code that I used for in MATLAB. First, the, the, the user is asked to, to s select the folder that contains the images and then the images uh, are read which are either in J JPEG or in this JPEG format. They're both the same but the way they're written they're not the same. So make sure you know the format of the images and then uh, the images are read and they are automatically turned into uh, grayscale images and they are saved in UINT8 uh, with 8-bit images and 
and then they are saved by adding a gray to the to the first to the start of the name. I mean, then their name is gonna be start with uh, gray, which means this the uh, gray scale image of the of the uh, colored image. So this is the code that I used in MATLAB, and I would have artificially made black and white images. So my my system have colored and now black and white images so it would learn to go from one side to the other one and here's the here's the black and white images that I have artificially made to use in my work same images as this one the, the only difference is this one is the black and white images so here is the coding part and uh, this is where I import the, the necessary uh, functions and necessary stuff that I need and especially the keras related stuff and then this is the folder that contains the grayscale images and this is the folder that contains the uh, colored images and they would be automatically read and uh, they are normalized the, the size would be set to 100 by 100 because I just want the system to be run fast and this is just the um, tutorial and then the images are, are appended to each other and they are saved as this v v variable and then at the end they are turned into uh, numpy array into x and y variables and this is the convolutional neural network uh, uh, architecture as you can see this is the code that I used and the, the first layer has 8, the second layer has 16, 16, the third layer 16, the four, fifth layer uh, 32. Uh, f this is the number of filters and this, the size of the uh, filter is 3 by 3 and this is, a, this is a, the, the number of filters as I said. And it, and it takes in 1 because the, uh, the image that, that is uh, input to the network has only 1 uh, dimension which is the gray scale or luminous uh, channel and, and the the last channel has or the lightness channel sorry and the last layer has only two layers but it goes from L star lightness to A star B star in C lab color space which I'm gonna talk more about so it goes from the black and white to colored and then the uh, and then the output the colored, uh, the output from network is going to be combined back with the input, which is only the L star, which would give us the final colored image. So as you can see, the size I have set to the 100 by 100, and it has also stride 2, which would uh, result in the reduction in the image size. And then I have also 3 up sampling, and uh, which were preceded by three stride to three down sampling in other words and then the, I compile the system and the model is some sort of uh, autoencoder and uh, I compile the system and then I fed it using this method the, the batch size is only one, one thousand epochs the verbose is one which means I'd like to see what's happening so the network would tell me the, the error values uh, in each iteration then I uh, evaluate the system and I just feeding test images one by one. This is like one of the test images. So it, it will be ready to go into the system. It would go into the system here, which would predict the test image. It would give me the output. The output has only two channels as shown here. And uh, I combine the output with the original uh, input the input of a test image which is here so the test image will be set aside it will be first input to the image it, it will be first input to the network and then the, it would be combined with the output of the network as you can see because the output of a network is only color is only a star b star and then uh, it would be combined with the original input image when you for, for our testing samples I mean and then it would give us the colored image and uh, the output would be shown here and also if you want to save the image this uh, 
code here with help from uh, matplotlib and uh, this is it this is the whole uh, coding for this part and not not so fancy not complicated and uh, I hope it's gonna help you guys to start on your uh, coding anyway let's get back to the presentation So I think it will be helpful to also show the overall architecture of the network after having shown the coding part and uh, also the overall algorithm. As you can see, this is the uh, architecture of a network. It has uh, autoencoder architecture to it, which means first it compresses the image and then it decompresses it. And the original image would be shown. Uh, but uh, so when you see the input, image which is a, a black and white image it would go into the image and the output it would go into the network and then the output would be only a star b star which means from one channel we go we go to two channels of a star b star a star b star is from c lab color space which means it's it only has a color color in it like uh, a star and B star, they have red, red, uh, green, blue, and yellow to them. And so this one itself is not image. So we combine the output A star and B star channel with the with the original black and white image, which result into this uh, color colorful image as you can see so to have this image again I have to uh, I have to say it to have this image we need to combine this a star b star image with the original black and white image and also the number of fe features and the stride everything else has, everything else has been shown here so now let's just show some examples as you can see this is the example from the network and this is uh, the input the black and white image as you can see the network hasn't hasn't worked bad considering that I didn't really tweak the uh, the variables and I just uh, ran it one time and I had about 500 t turning samples and I just want to see what happens and this is more of a tutorial so you guys would go and try it for yourself and as you can see, it's the, net, the network hasn't worked bad, you know. It has done a very acceptable job of uh, making a black and white image into a colorful image, as you can see. Especially this image is my favorite. How green it has become, the grass especially. And, uh, yeah. I hope you, you guys like the video. And, uh, yeah, I just, I didn't really do much, and I just wanted to uh, have something uh, as a tutorial. And you guys could definitely make it work better through making some uh, tweaks to the network, such, such as activation function, number of layers, and number of filters, and what have you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you have learned something. And if you liked it, share the video and also subscribe to my channel, which would help my channel to get noticed by others. And thank you so much again. Have a good day.